Hey guys, John here, and welcome to Skylar and Plux Adventure on Clover Island. First and foremost, let me say a big thank you to the awesome folks at Right Nice Games for hooking me up with a copy of this game so that I can bring it to you. If you're excited about this series, be sure to hammer that like button right away to help promote this video. And yeah, we're going to dive into what I hope is going to be a lot of fun. Let's do this. In the outskirts of our galaxy, a relic from the ancient progenitor civilization has surfaced. And I fear what could happen if it fell into the wrong hands. Some say heroes aren't born. Heroes are made. I guess cliches exist for a reason, because our hero is just in the making. Bob, how is our test subject doing? Oh, well, look who's awake. Our little thief. Are you really so stupid as to think you could steal from the great CRT? Heck, I'm not even sure how you're still alive after that gruesome reconstruction. But hey, I'm not complaining. Once your brand new arm's complete, you'll be able to sucker punch people into orbit, baby. Now, if all this sounds a little strange to you, it's probably because I've started removing your memories. I know, I know. A tad extreme, but that's just how I roll. Can't let you keep that pesky free will of yours, can we? Okay, <laughs> bye now. Installation complete. This was a rather unfortunate turn of events, although you no longer remember said events. Hmm. Stand by. Initialize kinetic weapon system. It would seem that you have a much greater role to play, Skylar. Let's get you out of here. Now, first things first. Are you able to walk? Indeed I am. Splendid. You seem to be fit as a fiddle. Now, yep. I am more than a regular arm. Oh, really? Use me to punch through those boxes. Oh, cool. Wait. Wait, how did you get out? I mean, I see you're uh, taking a stroll. Don't bother jumping those containers, though. It's not like you can jump twice in the air or something. Oh, twice in the air. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious of something. Probably not anything, but these boxes look like there's steps leading down. There's something hidden. I really wanted there to be something hidden. <laughs> Just for the heck of it. Just had to be sure, though. I like how this feels already though, as far as platformers go, like, oh yeah, oh, that's such a good thing when you can adjust in air with the double jump and like change your direction. Yes, it feels really nice so far. Obviously we're just getting started, but you know. All right. Try my other function on this swarm bot, the spin attack. Okay. Oh, nice. I like that. We do it. Oh, you can do it while you jump. So it's like jump, jump, and then spin gives you extra distance. Neat. The spin attack also functions as a trip <laughs> while in the air. I just figured that out, dude. Isn't that amazing? Yo. Get that. Oh, so you slapped around Dave and Steve. They were useless anyway. Wow. Or Dave and Steve. Oh no. Oh, I made it. Whoa. I don't know if I should have made that. That was awesome, though. All right. End of the road, you rascal. You can't get through here. Can't I? Oh, whispering about grappling beams, huh? Ah, that was so cool. What? <laughs> that is sick. Alright, wait, 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 I kind of want to, eh. 
Yeah, just making sure there's nothing down there. There's not. Ah, shrimp sticks. I blame you, Bob. I blame you. <laughs> Poor Bob. Hey. Oh, you hit me, you piece of crap. All right. <laughs> that was so fast, I was not expecting it. Step on the Ooh. I will, but first I want to look around. Well, I guess we'll still get a chance to. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I really want to look over there. There's like boxes and stuff to break. Will I be able to get back up if I do this? I think so. I want to explore. Ooh. Nice effects there. Nice looking game. I can dig it. Yep, now it's totally worth it. There was stuff there. So there are things that you could like bypass. Um, you know. It accidentally, I guess. But uh, you're able to go get them there, so that's pretty cool. Makes adventuring and exploring valuable so you don't miss things. Not sure what these are used for, but I want to collect them all if possible. Nice. This reminds me of Tron 2.0, this section right here. Um, it's, I believe it's in the first stage of Tron 2.0, but you, you make your way up into an area and then you come out and there's like a drop off and everything. This, For whatever reason, this corridor right here reminds me of that so much. Neat though, I love that game anyhow. Alright. Ooh. Damage going on here. See those swing nodes? Use your grappling beam to swing through the air. Okay. For real though, this is like seriously like Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter. A lot of familiarities to some fun classic games here. Bob, what do those things even do? She's getting away. You're mm. forcing my hand here, kitten. Time to wake up our little friend. Uh oh. <laughs> I want to like explore a bit if I can, though. See if there's anything around here. Oh, you can do a stomp, huh? Oh, that's neat. I'm just curious if I could break that. And I kind of want to look down here too, maybe. Yeah. There may not be anything down here, but it's worth a look, I think. Hmm. It's way back up. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Then again, there's nothing to say we might not revisit the area or something, you know? That can always happen. Ooh, I could hit that from that far away, huh? Oh! Almost. <laughs> Didn't quite have the distance I needed there. There we go. This is really fun so far. I can dig it. Okay, what's in here? Are you? This 
Tyler. Whoa, you got a talking arm. That's neat. Greetings, feathery friend. Greetings, you guys. I'm Plux, and these islands are my home. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Flux. But we have urgent matters to attend to. Skylar, if you wish to regain the memory CRT erased, you must find the progenitor structure called the Cypher Key. And oh, I think I know what you're talking about. The Islanders always jam about that thing. It's some huge, ancient-looking thingamajig, right? That, uh, sounds just like it, I guess. Can you take us there? I know these islands like the back of my wing. Let me show you the way. Awesome. Let's look around for hidden goodies. Don't see anything there? Over Island, Sunny Smile Isles. I know sea lions don't like getting wet, and your mechanical arm is far too heavy for you to be swimming. So watch out for large bodies of water. Okay. Keep kitty cat out of water. I shall remember that. I really like this music too. It's a great experience so far. Ooh, nice. It's down here. Well, I guess it's just if we fell. Okay, just making sure. I don't want to miss anything. Sometimes I feel like uh, I don't have a grasp on how far she jumps because she really has some distance to the jump itself and like if I double jump it goes super far. I imagine it's going to get more important for me to judge these jumps as we go so I need to, need to nail that down sooner rather than later. Aha! Hidden stuff. I should be checking all of them. We'll check them all. See? I knew I wasn't crazy for checking all the things. Wait, should I go back? There, there might be some over here, too. Actually, I think I see some. Gift blocks. Yeah! So there's so much hidden stuff. Nice. Uh, I don't think there was any clumps over there, though, so I think we're good now. Check them all here. I need to make sure I keep an eye on that as we go. Wait, what's that? Oh, back in here. Oh, that, that, that's where we're going, actually. There's gotta be hidden stuff up here, though, right? Why else would there be a path? Ah, ha. What might this be? Hmm. Was it? Maybe it's just here for design. No. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything else over there, but still, it's cool that we can explore a bit like that. Okay. Ooh, swinging after jumping. Something new to get used to. I don't like it. I quite like. Ooh, clump of stuff over here, maybe. Yeah, I'm talking about. Whoa. This checkpoint. I have dropped these all over the island. They are quantum replicators, and should you, to all our dismay, perish, they will relocate you to the last replicator you passed. And I have uh, added confetti as motivational flair. <laughs> That's thoughtful. Mm hmm. Indeed. Okay. 
Get a nice little view of the area here. Now what about that thing we saw? Did we actually leave that very far behind? I think we might have actually. Should I go back and see if I can check that out? Why not? don't want to miss it, right? Where is that? Ooh, there's a little heart made out of rocks there. But where is that thing we saw? Around here somewhere, isn't it? Or was it? No, it was back on that side because I went through that little secret passage. Let's, let's hop back up here lose anything by checking it out. Yeah, down here. Okay. Hmm. What are you? This seems important. Perhaps we will have to return to this then. <laughs> there may very well be a bit of backtracking to do, but we know where it is. We shall keep that in mind. Let's uh, progress forward here. Whee! Okay. That in mind. Going this way, I suppose. Everything in here, yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. Go. Oh 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 oh. Hey hey. There, land there, and then jump again. Oh. I'm doing it the wrong way. I should have looked around a bit. <laughs> okay, We've missed anything, so let's just keep on going. Whew! It's a big jump. This place is a lot bigger than I thought it was, too. things around here to collect and different pathways to go about getting there but I think we need to go this way first and assist the elder. Hey I see you. Yeah that's what you get you jump right past me in the water. You want to try it too huh? I'll just knock you in the water. <laughs> I missed you somehow and I don't know how. Seems like collecting these slowly fills well, the hearts back up. Now, would you kindly release me from this cage? If you don't have enough gems, there should be a few boxes nearby that are full of them. How many does it take? Three hundred to open. All right. Hello. to deconstruct the siphon broke it apart and I can feel the life force of this moon seeping away it's an ancient progenitor mechanism powered by three fuses as the CRT stole one of them the other two returned to their original places of creation on the highest point of the island in the seed lost in time 
And the stolen one is kept in a fortress of steel. He has imprisoned my people, the Loar, trying to extort us into revealing the Fuse's locations. Oh, please, if you find any of my children, break open their cages just like mine. And for the trouble, I will increase your health. So if you ever feel weak and beat down, remember to come and talk to me. That sure seems like a tall order. I'm sure you'll do fine, Skylar. Pleasure meeting you. Plux, I know you haven't embraced Clover Island as your home, and I understand that. But it needs you now more than ever. What? Me? You know this island, so you must guide Skylar on her journey. Guess I know my way around. Sure, if you say so, Jelly Beans. Very good, my friends. And Skylar, let Clover Mountain be a trial of your courage. Best of luck to you both. All right, let's go on an adventure. All right, open five locked containers to free the people inside and we will get a health increase. Very good. Very good indeed. I think that's going to be it for this first episode. Skylar and Plux, if you guys have enjoyed this, please be sure to hammer that like button, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're new to join the Wolf Pack. And yeah, thanks again to the devs for hooking me up with a copy of this. This is awesome so far. And I can't wait to see what lies ahead over there in the mountains and beyond. So yeah, see you guys next time for more. Bye.